Feeling the same way you are feeling. You are praying that the Lord blesses you better job. Muingo, who interacted with Cooks, students, and school management, says the ministry will help the school to clear all the students' medical bills. About 150 students were treated at various health centers after developing acute diarrhea and stomach pain. They fell ill after breakfast on Friday, one week ago. NTV understands that majority of the students have since recovered and have returned to school. Only three students are still in hospital. I'm going back to the, I'm going for cabinet right now. I'll share what the head teacher has shared with me. And I'm sure government will come in to support the school. However, the mood at the school is still gloomy. Muyengo says the Ministry of Education is taking a keen interest in the ongoing investigations around this matter. And the investigations are ongoing. I want to thank whoever has contributed to this. I want to, on behalf of government, assure you that everything possible is going to be done to get to the root cause of this. Meanwhile, police spokesperson Fred Enanga says a report from their forensics department that has been analyzing food samples that were collected from the school is expected to be released this week. The report will guide police investigations into the same matter. We got specimen. Uh, from the food that was served to the students, as well as uh, uh, samples of the drinking water uh, that were submitted to the analytical laboratories for further toxicological analysis. 